Okay, so we're done with the test. The test passed, and now I want to use that logic in our game. Let's just go back to our uh, game graphic window. Remember, the whole purpose of what we're trying to do is minimize the transformations okay right here remember we had this like uh, position or vert position or ship I think it was ship position if I remember right ship position plus the rotation times the vertice but now I'm trying to get the ship position and the plus included into our matrix operator so not only will the matrix rotate but it will also do our translation as well and that's that was the whole goal of all those matrix 3d videos so I think it's time we actually uh, use that, see if we can make that work. We need to go to Build, Configuration Manager. Remember we turned off Sandbox Game. We need to turn back on saying, hey, build this. I can already see that IntelliSense is flagging that our rotate is gone. But let's see what else the compiler says. Control-Shift-B. Uh, let's get the, get the compile report. Uh, I'm going to right-click here and just turn off IntelliSense errors for now. Rotate, not defined. Okay, well, good. We should... And do that one. Let me get the error list up here and p pin it. And it pins quite high. Bring it down. Uh, let's see. No binary operator. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I added this because I said that's where we're trying to go. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to build again. Refresh our error list. Uh, plus equals math vector 3D. Or math vector 3D does not define this operator. Plus equals ship velocity. Okay. Looks like that's the last error, and we forgot to implement this operator. So let's go look at the engine, math. Uh, I just want to look at vector 2D, just to refresh our memory a little bit. Vector 2D, did we? We did the plus equals operator, did we not? Yes, we did right here. And so with vector 3D, we did the multiplication, but we did not do addition, nor did we do subtraction, nor did we do plus or plus equals. So... Again, we, if I was writing this library up beforehand, I'd write every implementation of every operator, but we're just going to do this incrementally and as needed. I think it's nice to see things written as they're needed, especially from an educational point of view, because then you can see, oh, that's why. I mean, all too often we teach you guys to do things. Uh, as teachers, we teach you guys to do things. And you're like, well, why do I need to do that? Why do I need to do that? Well, just do it because I said so. Well, I think this approach is we need to do it because otherwise this isn't going to work. And you know why we need this operator. It's to change our ship position. So anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's implement the plus and the plus equals operator for vector 3D, vector 3D. Uh, go down here. Let's be consistent with the formatting in vector 2D. So it looks like we have plus at the top. So let's do that. Inline vector 3D. D, come on, D. Operator plus const vector 3D. D, whatever, until I sense. Uh, left const vector 3D reference. Right, zoom out a little bit. And then here we will say, again, comparing to this, I want to do the plus equals operator. So inline vector 3D reference operator uh, plus equals uh, con <coughs> const, no, you know what, let's just, well, yeah, all right, const vector 3D reference right like so is that consistent yeah we're consistent okay build that we should probably get some linker errors yep that's what, that's good so let's go to the inl file for vector 3d and again being consistent with vector 2d uh, looks like we have operator plus at the top so let's do the same thing here uh, yep vector 3d 3d operator plus const vector you know what <clears throat> let's just grab the declaration control c control shift l to delete the line v to paste the line delete the inline go to the end here that's probably just as many keystrokes as it would have been just to type it in but whatever 
Okay, test driven development again. Return vector 3D. Okay, be clueless. And then we need to do uh, the member assignment operator. So let's go over here. And this is our first member, so I'm going to put it at the top. I believe that's consistent with vector2d.inl. No, it's not. Where did we write? Oh, we did it down here. Interesting. I, 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 I would have leaned towards actually writing it uh, higher than the non-members uh, because it just textually it comes that way. So I'm actually going to change vector2d, do a little refactor here, and control X. Generally, I should probably wait to do this till my next check-in. Put it on a to-do list, but I'll just do it anyway. Uh, and then, here we go, we can be consistent. I'm going to copy this operator plus equals for vector 3D. Control C, <coughs> go put it in the inline file, and then vector 3D, colon, colon, like so, and return. Vector 3D, empty. Okay. Now I just want to see if we got if that at least eliminated our build errors. Warnings. Okay. What's our warnings? Let's see what our warnings are. Returning address of a local. For, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> well, the compiler here is saying I, I obviously was going too fast. I wasn't thinking about what I'm doing here, but the assignment operator we return a reference to a vector 3D because uh, to, we want to be able to chain these assignments, so, uh, well, I'll just go watch the assignment, overloading the assignment operator video for more detail on that. But we do return a reference, and that reference is uh, to the current object, so we're going to return star this. Now, when I say return vector 3D, that creates a temporary object on the local stack and then we return it and we return a reference to a temporary on the stack which I shouldn't I don't think should be a warning I think it should be an error the compiler should flag us and say hey do you know you're returning a reference to stack data that's going to disappear as soon as you hit this closing curly and then as other functions are gonna be called they'll go modify the, that area in RAM on the stack anyway so whatever okay we pass that warning I hope Build succeeded. Good. All right. Build. Oh no. Let's 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 go write the test. Uh, engine tester, vector, or math test, vector, 3D tests. And again, I'm just trying to keep some consistency. Let's uh, right click here, close all but this, open up vector 2D tests, and just see we did constructor. Oh, and then we did addition. Okay. Let's do it. Constructor, and then addition. Test, vector 3D, addition. I called it, I call it vector addition. All right, vector addition. And then I could just copy and paste. Oh, it's so tempting to copy and paste. But you saw what happens when I copy and paste. Let's, let's just write it out. Vector 3D, first, I'll give it a nine and a negative two. Vector 3D, second, uh, negative four, nine point. Oh, I don't want to do nines. I, I don't want to do uh, floating point values because then I have to. Well, we we're using expect equal anyway, so whatever. Nine point, no, 5.4. Man, it's so hard to choose numbers. Sorry. Okay. Vector 3D, result gets first plus second. Uh, expect float equal result dot x. Oh my golly, did you see I'm writing this like a vector 2D, but it's a vector 3D. You're probably sitting there scratching your head thinking, Jamie, you really need to edit these videos, but uh, okay, let's do another number. Five! And here we'll do a seven. <clears throat> okay. Result dot x. Should be equal to, well, what's the x going to be? 9 plus negative 4 will be a 5. Ex expect. Uh, what's the problem? Expect. Float equal result dot y. It's going to be some value. Expect. Float 
equal result dot z. Okay, what's the y going to be? It's going to be negative 2 plus 5.4 should give us a 3.4. And the z will be 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay. Uh, over here, did we do the plus equals operator? Did we even do the plus equals operator? Yeah, we did, but we did it in a separate test, so we'll actually go as far to do that. But let's uh, control L, the, that white space out. Uh, engine tester, okay, good. Warning, truncation from double to float. Yeah, I need my suffixes here. Control F5. Okay, good. Lots of red saying, hey, uh, this test didn't pass. So which one? It should be result X, result Y, and result Z. They all failed. So let's go make those pass now. Let's go to vector 3D dot INL. And here we're again using the return value optimization, left dot X plus right dot X. And I'm actually going to follow suit with what we did down here in every expression, just doing a new line. Left dot Y plus right dot Y. Left dot Z plus right dot Z. Build. Build succeeded. Control F5. We're green. Good time to check in. I'm going to go check in. Okay, good. Let's uh, let's do the plus equals operator. So, just to be consistent with the other vector 2D tests, we're going to, to say assignment plus equals. We'll grab this one. And where are we putting that? Minus equals, I guess we're putting it under scalar multiplication. So right there, change this to a 3, and like so. And forgive me for being a hypocrite and not learning from my mistakes. But I'm just going to go and grab this code here from our previous test. Simply make the video a little shorter. The video is, I see we're up to 11 and a half minutes, so uh, let's try to make this a little less painful for you if you are watching this uh, and here we'll do one two five dot uh, do, do, do. five four three okay good <clears throat> and then right here expect float equal another dot z that's going to be equal to, oh, let's line these up so we can see what's going on. 3 plus 3, plus three is 6, 2 plus 4 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6. I didn't plan that. Ooh, that looks satanic. Uh, 3 plus 5 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, <laughs> and 7 plus 1 is 8. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, rolling the lottery. Okay. Uh, these should fail. Let's make sure they fail. I just want to make sure everything looks kosher. Okay, good. Controller 5. Yes, it failed. No good. So let's go implement that. That operator, that is. Let's uh, up here. We're going to say this dot. Not dot. God, I've been doing C sharp too long. This arrow X plus equals right uh, dot X. This arrow y plus equals right dot y. This arrow z plus equals right dot z. Semicolon return star this. Control of five. Build started. Build succeeded. We're all green. It's a good time to check in. Uh, a little side note if you, I want to give you a little candy bar or piece of nugget of good information here at the end of this video. Just want to point out that. <coughs> If you can, and I'm not saying you should always try to use the uh, the plus equals versus the plus operator. Let me just collapse all these. If you notice, here we have plus equals, and here we have plus. All right, and the plus actually takes a little longer to execute because it has to return an object and construct that object and if you're not using the return value optimization you'll actually create uh, some more temporary objects in the middle of that but long story short 
plus takes a little more time to execute than plus equals because all plus equals does is says well let's take this and shove it in this object and this and shove it in this object and this and shove it in this object no intermediate objects are created nor do they need to be copied out um, or assigned out that we're, we're modifying this object so it executes slightly little faster just to modify this now I'm not saying all your code you should write in favor using plus equals versus plus. I, I bet you would rarely, if ever, notice the difference. But I did just want to share that nugget of information, or a thought at least. Something you could profile and test uh, by hand yourself for sure. Uh, but there you go. All right, so we have tested and implemented the, the, plus and the, the plus equals and the plus operator for vector 3D.